Sean, thanks for talking to us. Not many people can outscore Tammy Abraham at Bristol City, but you at the moment have done it up to 30 goals for the season. As a whole, um, why has the season gone so right for you? Uh, to be honest, uh, I, I, I basically set myself a target from like the start of the season. I set myself 25 goals. I just thought uh, I just wanted to come in like the, from from the start of the season like very strong and start off like scoring goals. Has it gone better than you you ever imagined then? Obviously, the loans have done me good as well. Obviously, getting ex men's men's experiences mm. in in obviously the the conference south. Uh, I'm very happy, obviously, scoring in the conference south as well, and obviously for the 23s. And yeah, just very like just this over, over the moon to get obviously 30 goals and obviously like beat my target when I set myself. I spoke to Brian Tinian recently. He almost used you as the prime example of how the loan system can work well. Yeah. That first loan at Western, um, what went, what clicked for you? Because you just hit the ground running, didn't you? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I just, I just went in like the boys. The, the boys put, took me in very well. Like as, as soon as I went there, I was very comfortable. Fit, like I fit into the team. They knew how I played. Obviously, like I like to run the channels, getting behind, and obviously as, as 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 soon as they started knowing like that's my strengths, they they played to it very well and just started hitting the ground running. Like so I think I scored like five five goals in three games, mm. and just and it's built like basically it's built off of that. You moved on to Torquay after that low. What what didn't go so well there? Uh, to be honest, uh, I think it was uh, another striker from Forest Green that came in at the same time as me, uh, Kiefer Moore. Yeah. And we like we basically came in at the same time, and obviously the the, the manager wanted to start him first over me for the first game. And I think from then he just didn't stop scoring. I think every single every single game he just didn't stop scoring. So I didn't really get my opportunity that I really wanted to get. And obviously, like the talking manager spoke to me about it and said, obviously he would have like loved to give me like a better opportunity, but obviously didn't want to change the winning team. So yeah, didn't really get my opportunity at Torquay as I wanted to. But yeah, it was it was, it was a very good experience being on 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 the bench in a conference prem. A lot of fans, yeah, very good experience to be honest. And I most recently you're you're going to end the season on loan at Bath City, and and you've almost continued that Western scoring streak yeah. with them. Yeah, definitely. I got four games left for Bath City now. Uh, I'm just obviously hoping to just finish the season strong and see how much goals I can get in these last four games. Yeah. New target for you? Uh, <laughs> I might set, I might set myself like another five goals. Yeah, in these in these last four games, see what I can do. Just finish the season strong, try and get 35 for the rest of the season. And of those goals, of course, the 30 goals, 15 have been for the 23s this season. Um, what's that been like coming back and playing for the 23s, having been out? All the time on loan. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's been it's been good. Obviously, coming back and playing for the twenty threes, and obviously, obviously helping like the younger lads like through the games and that, and obviously just just obviously contributing like to the goals and the team, and just helping the twenty threes like just just get along in the league. To be honest, yeah. Tell me the difference between what you've experienced at Weston and at Bath against twenty three football. How how different is it? Oh, I would say I would say uh, Bath and Weston like. Conference South is a very like more like way more physical than 23s football. Uh, I would say like you don't get as much time on the ball as, as 23s football. Um, obviously at, at that level, like people are playing for points, so it's more of a like passion, like more passionate and more like in your face. Very, very physical as well. I would say 23 23s football, you get like a bit more time, more passing. I would say yeah, definitely, definitely, def definitely like more more physical and, and like in your face. And it shouldn't be forgotten amongst all of this. Um, you had a little dabble with the first team as well. What was that like? Oh yeah, amazing, amazing. Uh, obviously I was I was very excited obviously when I got the call up. I think I had I was playing Charlton away and obviously uh Maka the sister the assistant manager uh, came to me before the game and said oh, obviously Sean you're gonna play forty five minutes today because you're you're involved tomorrow like the gaffer wants you involved on the bench tomorrow against Hull City. So he's just like, give me all you got. So I was like, I was so starstruck. I like, I couldn't believe. Like I was like, wow. Like I can't believe this. And then obviously, like the day came. <laughs> tried to sleep that night. I tried. <laughs> and then yeah, just obviously got got into the change room. Saw my name on the back of the shirt. Like that's when I knew. Like it was <laughs> it was real. Like and then 
obviously it was a great experience warming up and then the game started and then the gaffer called me <laughs> he's like Sean you're coming on and then I was like wow like this is I couldn't I, like, I couldn't believe I was going to make my debut so yeah and obviously coming on in, like especially at home in front of all the, all the Bristol fans was it was great as well good feeling and obviously obviously I'm just going to try and obviously push for that next season and just, and just try and see see where it takes me again. Yeah, obviously halfway through this year, given how well you've been doing, the club have rewarded you by saying uh, come in for a contract extension. What was that phone call like? You must have been pleased with that. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, it was my it was my agent that told me first that obviously the club's offered me a new contract. I was very pleased at, at the time because obviously it was it was offered to me in January, so it was it was it was quite shocking that I've I've been offered a deal so early. So obviously I've, I've obviously thanked the gaffer for that. And obviously all the other staff at the club for, for 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 allowing me to progress at this club definitely talk me through your background because you haven't come through a full academy system like perhaps some of the other players you t- you train with week in week out how did you get into into football um i, I started off football quite late to be honest I, i've never played like under nines football or like under tens i've, I've i started off with I started off with a team, like a local team called Hillyfields. This was like 11 aside. I was in like year six. And then from there, I just uh, found another local team called Dulwich Hamlet that I've been at since 15 years old. And obviously just tried to push on there. Uh, I got, I made my first team debut for them in when I was 16, 16, 17. Uh, scored a few goals for the, for the first team and then started getting interest from clubs there and, and just tried to push on, to be honest, yeah. Now you want to push on next year for City fans who haven't seen much of you so far. You touched on it already. What sort of striker are you? Who do you model yourself on? Who were the the heroes when you were growing up? Uh, I would like to say one one of my heroes growing up was Terry Henry, and I would say more than day I would like to compare myself to Jamie Vardy. Obviously, he's come back. He's he's, he's come from the same background mm-hmm. for me. Obviously, non-league. So obviously, I try to I watch a few of his clips like before like every game. And this, and obviously, just try to uh, like model what he does. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Keep up the good work. Keep up the goals, and, and hopefully, we'll see you next season in, in the first team. Maybe. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.